Now, one very consistent finding that has absolutely stood the test of time, it's kind of an interesting one. It's a little bit of a pop psychology finding, but I think it points to something interesting that we'll return to again and again is that people tend to report feeling lower levels of happiness, believe it or not, on their birthday. Um, and the argument for why this is, is the following, that typically we go through our year not comparing ourselves to our peers terribly much. We might do that a little bit more when we're in elementary school, high school, et cetera, when we're sort of age match, maybe even college as well. But an evaluation of ourselves to our age match peers is not typically something that we do on a daily basis. Whereas on our birthday, we get a snapshot of where we are in the arc of time, or at least in our life. And many people report feeling rather low on their birthday because they use that as a benchmark or a window into the things that they have not accomplished, the things that despite being age blank, they still haven't accomplished. And so that's interesting because what it really points to is two things. One, the extent to which much of our feelings of happiness are relative, in particular relative to our peers. So there's that social aspect again. And the fact that most of the time we are not very good at orienting ourselves in the longer arc of time. We're pretty good at knowing where we are in the arc of a day or the arc of a week or the arc of a month or even a year, but that most of us are not very good at reflecting on where we are in our life arc 